But Consumer Reports was not the only place that analyzed the Model 3. Okay. iccars.com did their own analysis, and this was on something completely different. This was on the price degradation of your car. Oh, so not, you buy it. not the battery degradation. No, very, very different. So this is a one-year-old Model 3. How is the price affected by being a used car. Oh, interesting. And so iccars.com analyzed prices from over 6 million new and used cars sold from August 2019 to January 2020, and it identified the top 10 cars that had the lowest price difference from their one-year-old used versions of the same vehicle and the cars with the greatest price differences. So Model 3 topped the list. It held its value the best. It lost 5.5% of its value, that is a loss of two thousand five hundred and twenty nine dollars. What's what's like the average car loss? The average. So keep in mind, the Model Three was five point five. The average was twenty point one percent of value in the first year of ownership. Wow. I mean, normally you drive a car off the lot and you've lost, you know, tens of thousands of dollars of value because no one wants a used car. This apparently is not the case whatsoever. A one-year-old Model 3, so my Model 3, should have only lost 5.5% of value. What, what was like the worst car on the list? Uh, the worst lost 43.4% of its value. What was that? That was the BMW 7 Series. Wait, so you... What do those cost? Like new off the lot, like eighty. Oh, a 000? lot, a lot. Yeah. So you drive that off. Let's say it's eighty thousand, mm -hmm. and it loses forty percent plus. So that's uh, you lost thirty two thousand dollars worth of value just mm -hmm. driving it off the lot. Well, not it, a year, but off but I mean, the lot. Yeah, I guess right. you could say off the lot, but it, it not necessarily like if you sold it the next day, it would probably be something different. Right. Wow. Um. So this is really good news for people who own a Model 3 or people who are buying a new Model 3. This is really bad news for anyone who wants to buy a Model 3 used because right. it means that the Model 3s are really holding their value. And this means that it's actually really good news for Tesla because there's no point in you saving, you know, $2,529 on average uh, to buy a used Model 3 when you could just buy a new one hmm. for not that much more. So this creates this conundrum where we kind of want to have used EVs in the world. Um, and in fact, I have bought a used EV. My Leaf was a used car. It had dropped in value significantly. Its MSRP was like $35,000 right. and I was able to pick it up for like eight. Right. So that was a huge drop. And I mean, it was not an old car by the no. time I picked it up. It was the end of a lease, I think. You got it at right. the end of, I think, a two-year lease. Right. So it was in great condition and everything. It was actually certified pre-owned and right. everything. It still had that much value loss over such a short period of time. But here's the thing with the Model 3. <laughs> it just holds its value so well because I think it's such a usable car in so and, many different scenarios. Well, and it keeps getting better. I mean, right. it keeps getting updated. The range gets better. It has more features. That's a really good point. I mean, my my older Leaf, it's exactly the same as the day I bought it, you know, and I, you know, just minor repairs and stuff like that. I think that at some point, someday, used Model 3s are going to uh, drop in value, and that is going to be a great time to pick one up. But as of right now, it is not the time for that. Thanks so much for watching this Now You Know clip. Head over to Now You Know channel for full episodes of Tesla Time News and in depth. And if you want to treat yourself and your family to something amazing, check this out. Jesse and I have been enjoying Masterclass, where we've been learning all sorts of fun topics from the masters themselves. Magic from Penn and Teller. Yes, that Penn and Teller. Filmmaking from Spike Lee. Yeah, that Spike Lee. TV writing from Shonda Rhimes. Acting from Helen Mirren. And so many more. Click the link down below to support our channel and experience what it's like to learn from the masters at Masterclass.